Here, more than 75 million people will be opting for a plant-based Thanksgiving menu. The folks at the Catskill Animal Sanctuary just launched the New Leaf program to help people kickstart their vegan journey. And we're joined this morning by Chef Linda Soper Colton, who is going to show us some vegan options for your Thanksgiving dinner table. Good morning, Linda. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm in Sovereignty's New York at Catskill Animal Sanctuary. Well, it's so great to have you. You know what's interesting is that even if you're not vegan, chances are you will have a vegan guest. So this is really great that you're doing this. Um, but as part of the New Leaf program, you're actually providing virtual cooking classes for people who want to transition to a vegan diet, right? So what's the biggest misconception people have about going vegan? Well, uh, in addition to rescuing animals here at the sanctuary, we do educational programming. New Leaf is uh, one of the programs that we teach here, part of the Compassionate Cuisine program. It's a vegan culinary program. And uh, after teaching and feeding thousands of people in the past 10 years, I think probably two misconceptions are the biggest. One of them is that vegan cooking is complicated mm. and that you're going to feel deprived. And I can assure you after teaching all these people and feeding so many people that deprivation is not part of a vegan lifestyle. That is for sure. Okay, so what are, you know, when you look at the, the, the menu, and we have the cookbook here, by the way, uh, that some of the main staples of a vegan kitchen? Well, it's fun. Here's a news flash, right, for your audience, because uh, vegan, the staples in my vegan kitchen are probably very similar to the staples and the things that you have in your kitchen. We have uh, fruits, we have vegetables, we have bread and pasta and grains. Uh, we have all these things. So my kitchen probably looks a lot like your kitchen with a few exceptions. And maybe after today, you'll, you'll pick up some of these things. But, you know, we use things like we'll have a, a butter that's plant-based or milk that's made from oats or almonds instead of from uh, dairy. And uh, you can have cream for your coffee. You can have cheese. You can have all of these things. Uh, but most of the food that we eat all of us it's, it's already vegan yeah. well you're going to show us some simple vegan swaps for traditional um thanksgiving appetizers so can you show us i think you're going to show us how to make vegan or plant-based cheese yeah so this is a recipe from our cookbook compassionate cuisine um you can get it on our website at casanctuary.org and this is so simple people think that it's so complicated but this is a recipe that comes together in a food processor i'm using uh cashews they go right into the food processor here. We use a little bit of tofu, and this makes a beautiful uh, ricotta cheese. And it's a little bit of uh, plant-based milk here. And these are all foods that are familiar. Maybe tofu may not be familiar, but nuts and lemon juice that we have here, these are familiar ingredients. All of this, I'm using a little bit of miso for some really nice flavor. All of this goes into a food processor. I have some Italian spices and salt. We all know what those are. And you would whip this up in a blender yeah. until it's smooth. That's it. Like that takes wow. 30 seconds to do. And you have made vegan cheese. Wow. Um, so we have other cheese recipes in the book for all kinds of things. You can make mozzarella. You can make, you know, the cheese ball that you see on every holiday yeah. table covered in pecans. But I use them to make these, um, you know, these beautiful little crostini here. Oh, and that. this is it's finished. And yeah. it's creamy and smooth. You spread a little schmear, and I have some uh, butternut squash, which nice. happens to be vegan, everybody, right on top. And you garnish with a little uh, fried sage leaf. Fried sage Perfect. leaf, okay. Very nice. Um, yeah, I, I love it. So if you don't have time to, I guess, make your own cashew cheese, would you? are there good store-bought options that are out there? There are, there are so many wonderful options out there. Uh, and cheese has, come, that's the hardest thing for people to give up we hear. But uh, we've come so far. Um, you can go to most grocery stores today and you can find options for mozzarella, for sliced cheese, for cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. Some of our favorite brands, uh, we use tree line cheese up here in the Hudson Valley. We use uh, Miyoko is another brand that's fantastic. Uh, Violife is, okay. is definitely one of places. Real, uh, lots and lots of options to try. Real quick, Linda, we're running out of time, but I see that you have um, eggs right, over there. Eggs. You've got deviled eggs. What's the vegan swap for that? These are not deviled eggs. They're not. It? No, look at that. Everything's cute. They're gorgeous. These are deviled potatoes. What? Uh, potatoes. And, yes. 
This is a recipe from our cookbook. And so this is what is so fun about vegan cooking. Like you can surprise people with just simple, humble ingredients. This is a little potato that I baked. Wow. Um, and it's filled with, if you can believe it, with chickpeas. I blend up chickpeas wow. with all the ingredients that you would normally use to make your deviled eggs. So we have a vegan mayonnaise, easy to find, and then mustard and all the flavorings. You blend it together and you make these and they're so much fun. We did these for uh, an event here. Cool they idea. flew off the plates, vegans and non-vegans, um, amazed at how simple and fun and delightful. We love um, it. 